Hello everyone, welcome once again to MHJ Garden Design. Today I'm in the wilds with the garlic mustard. This is one of the most invasive wild flower, as a word you can see, that takes over and it can bring down an entire tree. So let's see how we can handle it today. One of the ways of identifying this here, you will find it has these tiny little white flowers. The other part is you can see the root system is purple and it has a crook inside of it. There. This is extremely invasive and you want to get it out of your garden as soon as possible. It's usually during the springtime where you see it coming up now march it starts to emerge and it's in full bloom by may time so whatever you do try and get rid of it it takes over as much as possible get rid of this horrible horrible weed here and if you find it in the woodland area deal with it immediately because it will take down a whole forest it's toxic and poisonous to the other plants so one of my projects for this week and the next couple of days is to go ahead and pull out the garlic mustard. When you have pulled it out, what do you do with it? You want to put it in a black plastic bag where the heat of the bag will smother it, will kill it and dispose of it. You don't want to have it lying about because these seed heads will then go right back again to multiplying itself in the garden. I'm going to pull. There we go. Pull another one. And before you know it, you have gathered them all up. So easy to pull out. It might take some time to get them all out of your garden, but I can assure you it will be well worth the work because we do not want to have invasive friends coming to attack us. Thanks for watching MSJ in the garden. I hope you all join me in rooting out invasive species from the garden. The garden is our happy place. 